Welcome to Personal Whip Tutor. Today we've got a cannon. A cannon is tilted at 30 degrees and fires a cannonball at 100 meters per second. What are the horizontal and vertical dimensions of the velocity when it is fired? So here we go. There's not very many purple cannons, so I'm going to draw. Here's the horizontal dimension and here's there is our cannon and it is shot at a theta of equal to 30 degrees and it's shot at 100 meters per second so what we want to do is we want to draw this triangle right here and we want to get it into its right term so let's draw that triangle and we know this is 30 degrees we know this is 100 meters per second. And I want to find out what this, what this y component and what this x component of velocity are. So I know, I'm going to use this angle here, I know that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to y over 100. And I know that the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to x over 100. That's because when you take the sine, it's always the opposite over the hypotenuse. And this right here is our right angle. So that is the hypotenuse right there. And for the cosine of this, it's this adjacent side, x, divided by the hypotenuse. So, once we uh, take this equation, I'm going to solve for y, and I'm going to take this equation and solve for x. Basically, I'm just going to multiply 100 by both sides. So here we go. So we get y is equal to 100 sine of 30 degrees, and x is equal to 100 cosine of 30 degrees. And I know that I know that the sine of 30 degrees is one half, so that's 100. Let's put the, my units back in times one half, and I know the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the square root of three over two, and that gives us for both of these. This one is 50 meters per second, and doing some calculations with the square root of three over two gives us 86.6 .6 meters per second. So, there you have it. This is the the velocities. Whoops, circled a little bit too much. These are the velocities in the x and y direction. So if you have any questions about what we just did or any physics questions in general, please feel free to check out our personalwebtutor.com. As you can see, you can ask a question, click on it, and come down here, put in your information, put in your question, attach a file with a PDF of your question, and let me take a look at it. You never know, your question may be my next video. Thank you.